Um, are with us today. Chef Rafael Reno is back with us. Good to see you, sir. Good to see you. Pleasure What's to have you here. All right. Thank you so much. Happy Mother's Day to your mom. Oh, absolutely. This yeah, is you. so exciting. And what we're talking about is our food of the month. These are all beef hot dogs from Kansas City Steak Company. Now, it's important to know that these are not parts as parts dogs. No, this is a steak dog. This is a gourmet experience. And let's just look at this. Well, you see that color, right, David? Bright red, just like an all beef hot dog should be. And then you see that thin skin on top. That's just going to snap. And then when you really zero in here, you see that, that absolute moist hot dog. That hot dog that has all that marbling of all those fun steaks, the prime rib, the filet mignon, the top sirloin, all in this hot dog. And by the way, you notice it's kind of big, David. It's 3.2 ounces, which is double the size of a normal hot dog. Oh, really they're um, they're amazing. Now we're not going to include your buns. You're going to find the buns on your own. I highly recommend the split top buns because they're yep. fantastic. But we are going to offer this either in a, a group of 12, 24, or 36 dogs. This is our food of the month. And since we launched this, over 4,300 sets wow. of hot dogs have been ordered. Everybody is looking for something great, and these come in packages of four. It's important to know. They're red because they're made of steak trimmings. Oh, is that picture? Is there a picture somewhere? Oh, there's a picture right here. Of a here. very special lady. Right there. There it is. Right here. This is uh, my mother, Marilyn. Right there. Ah, uh, beautiful. She was very excited when I said, I need a headshot. Oh. You know, you know how long it took her to send it to me? How long? Less than 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> okay, mom, she's ready. <laughs> what was, besides hot dogs, what was the favorite thing that she made for you, Ryan? Pasta Vozole. She's Pasta, pasta vozole. vozole. Oh my God, she's, Your that was like her thing. Yeah, that was like her thing. All she right. cooked like three or four things, and that was one of them. So. All right, well, let's get busy with hot dogs oh. and a little comparison. Store bought versus Kansas City. That's right. Kansas City hot dog right there, 3.2 ounces. A lot of people, David, didn't know that. This hot dog right here, this is only 1.6 ounces. So that's why, for the longest time, people didn't recognize, look at the color difference, right? This one's kind of like an orangish, right? This is red like it should be because it's an all beef hot dog. And again, it's not too salty, no MSG. And by the way, this is 12 grams of protein in one hot dog. So that's kind of a fun fact. Wow. For a hot dog, right? Yep. So that's the comparison. And again, David, look at, I always like, I know you love to do this. So, right here on my board, I have one of those 3.2 ounce hot dogs split down the middle, right? Well, it's a nice way to, to dress it because otherwise you need a really big bun or you're going right. to end up wearing it, right? Yeah. And you know what else is good? It's called surface area, right? So, when I split that hot dog right down the middle, I'm able to sear it on both sides. So now I can get a crust mm. on both sides. And again, I always tell people, Treat this like a steak because it truly is a steak dog because of the trimmings. Oh, it's so great well, and so perfect. Don't miss out. On, oh, thank you. Yeah. Don't miss out on this because it's all beef. It's ready to go for your summer barbecue. Mmm. And bursting with flavor. Yeah. I mean, you would take a, a little bite of this and then suddenly you've got that wonderful snap on the outside. That's right, yeah. That wonderful beefy flavor on the inside because remember, there's porterhouse, yep. there's filet, there's sirloin. All the wonderful cuts. All the wonderful cuts of meat, just like a steak burger. Is made up of parts of steak. These dogs are made up the same way. Yeah, and also what you're going to taste that butter. I always say buttery rich. Do you kind of like that note? That, but and if you haven't had one of these hot dogs, I'm from Chicago. So I've been eating hot dogs my whole life, right? right? When I first tried this about eight years ago, I was like, holy cow! Like this is the best hot dog I've ever had. And people who don't even like hot dogs love these hot dogs. So let's put this one down the middle. Yep. And let's dress it with just onion and. Oh, you want to put down the middle? Okay. Yeah, let's do just this. onion and uh, mustard. Okay. So That's again, my jam. I just kind of butterfly that just like that. Very simple to do. And I'm going to go a little bit of onion for David right down the middle. Okay. And then a little mustard, you said? <clears throat> a little mustard. All right. <coughs> right down the middle. And look at that. And that's right. a David dog right there. Yeah, let me have a little bite of that. You go for it, yeah. All right. There we are. And by the way, isn't this fun to have? Like, can you imagine your guests um, at your party having a steak dog? Mm. Right? Mmm. 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 Yes. And you want to top that with some chili? Oh, wait. You want to top that with some cheese? Wait, you want, you want to top that with some salsa? I mean, there's so much you can do with this. Look at this. This is fantastic. And if you're trying to cut out or cut down your carbs, then just serve it without a bun. Yeah. Even with a fork and a knife. This is incredible. Don't miss out on this. Oh, there's your um, oh, thank you. Your fork back. Appreciate it. We are very busy. A lot of you are now shopping for hot dogs because it's grilling season. It is only the 14th day of May. We're 14 days into this food of the month. Oh boy, we got food. we got a long time. And a lot of people have already uh, secured their hot dogs, and we also have auto delivery. We're delivering these every 90 days for one year. 
What I want to show you here, David, is bun to hot dog ratio, right? So a lot of times with those skinny little 1.6 ounces, when you take a bite, you get mostly bun. What I love about this is that you get a nice amount of hot dog and just enough bun to accompany the hot dog. The bun should not take over. And that's why I love showing this. Just a perfect bite every time. Uh -huh. And for the kids, like grandma, mom, mm -hmm. to have these in the freezer. By the way, you show these, right? Right. So have these in the freezer. They defrost rather quickly, about 20 or 30 minutes in cold water, and you get four to a pack. Really nicely packed. It's almost like going to a butcher shop, right? It's got that so it's white and black. So good. And you'll notice you, you get four. A lot of times people get eight, right? So they, I think they think, well, we're getting four. But these are twice the size. Right? And if there were eight in that package, you'd have to defrost <laughs> all eight, right? And That's you maybe right. you're not prepared to eat all eight of them. Yeah. So only four to a package, and so that works out really nicely. Yeah. You're also going to love that we can keep a good thing coming with auto delivery, shipping every 90 days for one year. You can also go with 12, 24, or 36 dogs. Almost 5,000 now gone for the month. Wow. 36 count is the most limited of all three of our offerings. Now, 36 is all of them, right? Okay. Now, the only thing we're not going to include will be the buns. That will be your job. As much, yeah. You pick up your, your, pick up your own buns. We highly recommend the, uh, the split top. <laughs> when I was in high school, I worked at a drugstore. Right. And in the fountain, they would have split top buns that, that would tear off uh, like a, 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 a loaf. Uh -huh. And they'd be, they'd be flat on the sides. And we'd butter them and grill Ooh, them. Ooh, that's the way to do it. And you'd griddle them and toast them and then put the hot dog in yeah. them. Try a little mayo, like what David's saying, but then put a little mayo before you grill it to give a little like extra yeah, fat. Yeah, a little extra flavor. Yeah, flavor and mm -hmm. fat. And just look at that hot. Just very simple, little ketchup on your hot dog, just like that. So good. Look at that. Hot dogs, get your hot dogs right here. Uh, this is our food of the month. And it's awesome. Don't miss out on this opportunity. There's a little ketchup, a little mustard. That's why I ate them growing up. Uh, don't miss out on this. Uh, as I've gotten a little older and more hot dog sophisticated, I've done just onion and mustard. That's it. I'm, I'm the same way. Chili. Two condiments is my Cheese. Cheese. And pickle relish. Dill pickle relish, not sweet pickle. No, no, dill. Dill, dill like, pickle relish. A little acidity there. A little okay. acidity. Mr. Ralph Pallarino, chef, it's good to have you back. You got it, thanks. And please wish your mom happy Mother's Day. I will. Day happy Mother's Day to everybody. Absolutely. All right.